Then I mate, you all look the same to me. How they go, Wicks? Have a nice time. Yes, mate, mate. Yeah. Anyway, I want to sell up, mate. I want to go and see Sue. She had to see the crack this morning. In a day now, you know what I mean? Day? Don't go like that. Middle of the night, it'll be. No consideration, women. How much are you, Ali? Ten. A tenner? And they call me a gangster. What's your second name, Ali? Barber? Yeah, all right, give us a five of your tight yeah. There's no tip in this, you know that. No, I can take a few tips from you, though, mate. Yeah, yeah give my regards to the mum to be, eh? What's all this about, Darren? You've got to be happy fired, have you? Little gold mine here, mate. Yeah, fancy a ticket for a show tonight. What show? Oh, well, Steve. I'm running a film on African culture. Tom's been kind enough to let me have the all. African culture? They ain't got no culture, not like us Brits. Anyway, come on, I'll open up for you. I ain't got all day. Try and get there, mate. Layers. Clear. Yeah? Yeah, you miss me? Yeah, of course, is uh, my mum about. I arranged a night off tonight. Did you? Yeah, I thought you might like to take me out. I'm working tonight. Ah, no, you're not. I checked with Wilmot Brown before I arranged my night off. Oh, I've got it all organised, have you? Well, I just thought you'd want yeah, to. Yeah, well, I thought it was the fella done yours. I'm sorry. I just thought we got on so well. Oh, like that. Hello, 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 Expecting a lot, ain't you? I am, Tom. Don't want to give us a hand, dear. No, I didn't think you did. I want to see a film about African culture. A load of fuzzy wuzzies started about any altogether. You'd be surprised. Well, I've got better things to do with my time. And don't forget, make sure you've tidy up when you're finished. Hey, Wimps, what are you doing here now? I said to bring the set tonight. Yeah, right, wing it in. Oh, Tracy. Uh, Tom, this is Tracy. A senior lecturer on African culture. Oh, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Yeah, and Tom's a very busy man at the moment, aren't you, Tom? Yeah, but now I can just stay. What are you doing in there? Oh, I suppose you want to see your dressing room, eh? No, it's OK. She's just come in, yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye. Sue, what are, you being... what are you doing? Shopping. You shouldn't be lugging things about in your condition. My condition. I think I'm going to stay in this condition forever. This baby just does not want to be born. Still, give me a chance to clean the flat up, though. You've already cleaned up. <sighs> well, what did they say? Who? The hospital, the checkup. You have been, haven't you? Yes, of course. They said everything is going all right. Well, when are you going to have it? You should have had it days ago. I tell you, Sue, I'm getting fed up with this. Oh, you're getting fed up. Do you hear that, baby? Your daddy's getting fed up. Well, <sighs> can't I do something for you? I mean, it ain't fair letting you waddle around like an elephant. Oh, thanks. Well, that makes me feel wonderful, that does. An elephant. Charming. Look, Ali, they said everything is going all right. It'll come when it's good and ready. The head's engaged. Engaged? Yeah. It ain't fair. Men shouldn't have to put up with this. <laughs> We're not built for it. You poor thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad he's out of the hospital. It's just things ain't right. Lordship, don't want to know. Don't want to know what? You know. They ain't keeping together. I'll let you hit the wall, have you? Don't you be cheeky. I do believe you'll turn into an old pervert. And not so much of the old. There's something else. What? Let's talk about Den selling up. What of it? Where's that going to leave me, eh? Right up the swanny. Nah, Den would. Oh, Den's capable of anything. Hey, are you on wages or what? Yeah, all right. See you later. Yeah. Wixie, please talk. I'll see you later. Look, does that mean that Leave off, eh? Let's see how we feel. Yeah, fine. You can't be serious, mate. Well, I've never been more serious in my life, mate. Now I've had it with this manner. New place, new start, new people. I'd be gutted. What's Angie think? I couldn't give a toss what she thinks. Anyway, don't get me wrong, it's just business. There you are. Never would have guessed. How's Ange? Hope she's enjoying herself. That's what she needs, you know. Yeah, don't we all. You can have that on me. What's up with you? Yeah, Mum, Dad, guess what? Don't tell me your grand just put up the bike. Oh, Dad, you should be on the stage. Sweep in it. I'll take no notice of him, what is it? No, you take no notice of me, son. I'm just a breadwinner in the man. Says he propping up the bar. Oh, come on, Cap. I've got to have a drink. Yeah, excuse me, but are you too interested in this or what? Yes, we are, love. Come on. Well, what Brown has only booked us for a disco tonight at his place. You might be not going to deck tonight, Cap. Is he paying you? Yeah, of course he's paying us. How much? Three quid. Thirty quid between the lot of you? Where's the start, isn't it? 
What's the point? I've got to find out. Have you seen him? Darren, he's over at my community hall putting on a show. African culture. Culture arts. All right, cheers, Don. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Don't seem a lot, does it, Fergie Quid? Why's the tell that? Why have you always got to put Ian down? I'm not putting him down. I don't put anybody down. As a matter of fact, Cap, I'm over the moon. I've got you back full time. Full time? Yeah, well, you've given up the Samaritans, haven't you? Then we get back to normal, spend a bit of time together. Yeah, I suppose we can. I don't sound too bleak and happy about it. No, you're right. Be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll get a few shirts on, a bit of food on the table. You know what, Cap? Best thing to happen to you, get in the elbow. Now you're back where you belong, eh? Where I belong? What, like a dog's body, you mean? No, I don't mean that. It... That's exactly what you mean. Well, this is a woman's place in the home, isn't it? What yours, Bill? Hello, Kath. Uh, Pink tea, I'm thinking of moving on. Good. Take Genghis Khan with you. Oh, I see. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Boot my car's a box of crisps. Get them for us, will you? All right, Governor. So what's upset you, then? Oh, everything. Hey, Dave, how much would you... Well, a pound expect to pay for a disco. The makers of this movie advise you to check your movie <laughs> before it's watching the, best. the adventures of men. <laughs> Jeez. I thought I told you to lock the door. African culture. You ain't seen nothing here. Yeah, so I told me to have a fifth. But nothing. I'll come. I'm having sleep preview. Yeah, come back in five minutes. I can't years. sleep out. We are, like, out. I don't want to talk to you about the disco. Oh, hang on, wait. Boy, Tracy, I don't know if Walford is ready for you now, baby. Oi, keep an eye on the place. I'll be back in an hour. Hey, you. <laughs> Tom, just the man. Oh, Padre, Sharon. Hello. Tom, would it be possible to use the hall? What for? Well, being a lowly curate, my boss has got the first option on the vicarage, and I want to continue my Lent discussion group. When? In the next couple of days. Look, Duncan, I'm just going to see me dad, OK? OK. Yeah, that should be all right. Uh, d d d Darren's got it for today, and he's got a provisional booking for tomorrow. But uh, I think we'd better have a word with him. Oh, fine. Look, if it's all right with you, I'd like to move some things into the hall. How many seats have you got in there? Oh, plenty. Do you mind if I pop in and size it up? Yeah, that'd be all right. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you the spare key. Oh, great. Well, what's Darren using it for? Oh, he's got some sort of African culture film. Really? Well, that sounds interesting. Oh, Sorry. Hi. Heard you were back. Did you have a good time? Nice holiday. Yes, I'm sorry. Good. Come on, aren't you going to offer me a drink? Skin. Well, I'm buying. For a quintonic, then. For a quintonic. I think I'll join you. Uh, Two vodka and tonics, please, Lofty. Well, come on, then. Aren't you going to tell me about your holiday? Been back to Steve Rock. Clean for that. Yeah, well, uh, doesn't do the figure any good, does it? I expect you um, broke a few hearts whilst you were away. Look, if you don't want to talk to me, I just wish you would say something. You won't regret it, mate. It'll be an experience of a lifetime. Handsome. Yeah, Darren. Don't tell my cappy, though, will you? What, well, do you think I'm silly? Hey, you don't think uh, Arthur would be sort of interested, do you? No, mate. Here, Art. Yeah, yeah, mate, quick. Yeah? What is it? Arthur. Yeah. Film come showcase Bonanza. A lot. Interesting? Sorry, I don't know what I can do about it. I mean, I don't own the place. She right? I just work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I know. Just, but something's got to go. All right, well, look, don't worry. I'll see what I can do yeah. about it. I'll see you later. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Boy, what are you lot up to? Up to nothing. I don't know what you mean, sis. You're a lucky man, Arthur. Hollywood ain't got them all, has it? Best looking woman on a square, you're Paulie. Just watch it, you lot. She's getting more like Mum every day, ain't she? Come on, aren't you, one? That's what you saying. Yeah. Five All right, then. Oh, Mary, I want a word with you. What's up? Look, now, I've got enough problems of my own without getting an ear bashing from Arthur Square because of the way you're running things. Oh, what now? Well, for a start, you overcharge more than her washing. And I need the help of a computer or something to sort out the books after you've had your hands on them. And I've had Papa Doctor's on the phone and all. He can't make head or tail of the figures. As a matter of interest, he asked if Doc was working. Oh, great. That's it, then, innit? I'm going to get the sack. Look, unless you pull your finger out, what option has Papadopoulos got? I'm back to square one, social security. You know, my mum was right. She said I was a loser. I can't even hold a job down in this dump. So what are you going to do, Pauline? Give me the sack. Me? I don't do the hiring and firing round here, lovey. I'm just another general dog's body like you are. 
there's no threat of the sack. And stop feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah? So why is he asking what Dot's doing? Oh, I can see it now. Dot will take this job just to spite me. Dot doesn't do things for spite. Oh, says you. Oh, come on, love. What's gone wrong? Eh? You were getting on great here and now all this. Because I'm stupid, Pauline. I was getting on great because Rod was doing it. He did everything. He did the accounts, he did the figures. And now he's gone. I just can't cope. Disgusting. You'll be nicked. I didn't think you'd take it like that, then. I thought you were a man of the world. I'm talking about the price of five of a blue movie. Hey, the added attraction. The name of Tracy. What did he, Tracy? In the flesh. Four pound of you. Nah, to me. Nothing. Pat, mm -hmm. any chance of getting away early? Don't ask me. I ain't the governor. Anyway, we've already come to know off, haven't you? Yeah, but... I'm oh, all right, Go on, I was young myself once. I sorted out with him. Thanks. Best five he ever spent. Mind you, your missus will never be the same. Or oh, you don't know, <laughs> might do her a favour, make a new man of you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, Padre, use them keys. Uh, make sure you lock up when you're finished. There are a lot of thieving bus uh, people about. Thanks, Tom. Hello, Dan. Hi, Harold. Oh, Dan. You're up to something. No, love. Don't love me. Pauline. And don't Pauline me. Look, all I'm doing is spending a couple of hours tonight with your brother, Pete. Well, you can go and live with Peter as far as I'm concerned. No, what bothers me, Arthur, is you're asking. Asking? Yes, asking. You never ask can you do something unless you're up to something. Now, don't take me for a mug because I'm not. And don't smirk at me. Pauline, I'm not smirking. I'm smiling. No, love, I'll do it. You are. You're up to something. I'll find out what it is, and when I do, you'll be for it. Now, that's enough, Pauline. I'm a man, and I expect the respect a man deserves. <gasps> a man? Heaven help us. I am a man, and I've got free kits to prove it. Arthur, a mouse reproduces. Now, that's it, Pauline. It's become a matter of principle. I'm going out now, even if I didn't want to. Hello, Pat. Oh, I see. Taking over, have we? Well, we ain't that busy. The kid just wanted to get away early, that's all. Well, that half hour's coming out of your wages. And talking of wages, you want to hang on to yours as long as you can, because you might not be getting them that much longer, because your old bread and butter here is fed up with parasite, ponces and hangers-on. Do you practice at being a basket, or does it come natural? Natural. What's your poison, love? We do a nice line of poison in this house. You see, it all started when they'd done away with national service. Yeah. A good sergeant major would have taught them some respect, some, some discipline. But you and me, Doc, we've seen the best. The best years. From now on, it's downhill all the way. Well, I'm ready to meet my CO in the sky. Yeah, I think you're right, Tom. I mean, they'll never be the 50s again. Frank Sinatra, Bobby Sox. Oh, it was a lovely time. I mean, there's no hatred, no violence. It was a lovely time. Yeah. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who. Yeah, I'll better collect me glasses, Doc. Oh, uh, here's the ammo, Doc. Hello, Dr. Leg. Hello, Doc. <laughs> Haven't seen you for ages. Have you got another doctor? Oh, I hadn't thought. No, I ain't been poorly lately, have I? No, you're right. You must be contented. There's no prescription to match that. Well, now you come to mention it, Dr. Legg, I've been feeling uh, a bit Let of me get you lately. another one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I've had some bad news, I'm afraid. Oh? Yeah, from my sister. You remember Hester from the old days? Of course I do. Charming woman. Well, she married a man called Morris. A decent chap, I like it. And they took themselves off to Israel. I'm afraid old Morris has died. Oh, I am sorry. I suppose being a doctor, I'm used to death. When it's a member of your own family, it oh, knocks you back a bit. Oh, sister, she must be ever so upset. Yeah, well, she has got a son. He must be a comfort to her. Oh, well, yes, that's how it should be. Anyway, she's coming over to sort things out with his family, and I'm expecting a visit from her soon. Oh. Sorry about it, Miss Wilmot Brown. We were just trying out speakers. Right, oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Donna? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um... No, I'm fine. Very popular, aren't we? You think so? Listen, um, I've got to get on, but do you fancy a meal later on? Yeah, why not? Oh, a 
discussion group for Lent. How nice. Hello, Mrs. Cotton. If I weren't confirmed, I'd be the first one along, rest assured. Would you like ham? I've got a few minutes before I'm due at the cab. That's very kind of you, thanks. Oh, it's a real pleasure. That Darren's old in an African culture evening, I gather. Yes, so Tom says. Mm. Yeah, put a few of these about it. Might attract half a dozen. <laughs> Maybe I should employ Darren as my manager. Mm. He seems to have the knack of commanding interest. Oh. Mind you, I'd be interested in seeing his show. I prefer English culture myself. William Shakespeare Constable, you know, all that. Have you got anyone interested in that African culture show of yours? Sold out, mate. Sold out? Oh, I didn't know there were so many suckers about. We want to see a horde of screaming natives cavorting about. <laughs> You've got a lovely way with words, Tom. Yeah, well, make sure you clear up when you're finished. I don't want banana skins all over the place and, and coconut shells. <laughs> oh, no offence. You're lucky you're such an old twit as I get a few of my mates to bang you in a pot. <laughs> well, you just remember what I said. I don't want the Padre to think that I'm not looking after the place proper. The Padre? Yeah, he's booked the hall. He's over there now. The Padre's over there now? But I've got the keys. Well, I've got other keys. Oh. Funny fella. Don't think he'd mind, do you? Well, as they say, what the eye don't see, the art don't grieve over. Right, we'll sit down then. It's like being at the pictures. I think I'll just have a ciggy. Hot nights in the African bush? Yes, they must be. Don't suppose you'd need more than a sheet, aren't you? <laughs> the makers of this movie advise you to check your pacemakers before watching the adventures of... Not your cup of tea. Yeah. Who's mounting your stall? I've gone on strike. Oh. No, it's all right. Someone's keeping an eye on it for me. But it upset you and all, I see. I don't know, but it just seems to me they want you right there. Yeah. I wonder what they're up to tonight, the pair of them. Gold those. I'll peek him out with some cock and bull story about having to see a bloke about some business. <laughs> That's a load of old codswallop. Yeah, Arthur was lying through his teeth. Well, they can't get up to much mischief together, can they? <laughs> <laughs> you want right, this book? Yeah, fine. No, I mean, are you ready? Ready for what? Make a move. I've still got a drink. Yeah, well, hurry up and finish it, then we go, eh? I want to go, yeah. Well, do you want me to wait for you? Excuse me. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's nothing wrong, I just thought... I like you, Ian. Don't order me about. I'm not ordering you about. I'll I'll just... when I'm ready. Hello? Oh, what's up with you? No, oh, it's Elizabeth. She just made me look a right prat in front of people. Well, wow. She'd rather stay there and talk to those two hooray angries than come out with me. Well, love, she's a free agent. Mum, it's not the point. Oh, I see. Your manly pride's been hurt. Excuse me, can I have a word, please? Certainly, Catherine. Drink. About this £30 for and a Barry tonight. Well, you don't want to drink. Um, I don't think it's enough. Uh, no, I don't want to drink, thanks. You're upset about something? Lots of things, but right now it's about the £30. I see, not enough, you say? No, not by half. I've checked the going rate. Yes, well, we've only just started in the business. You've got to start at the bottom of the scale. Look, if they've been doing it for the last ten years, the music has still come out the same. Noise. Not a great lover of discos, then? Oh, whatever turns you on. And what turns you on? Look, I'm not here to discuss... Yeah, all right, them. all right. How much do you think I ought to pay them, then? Well, at least 60. OK, fine, 60. What, you're paying? Well, how can I refuse? Oh, that's good then. If. Oh, here we go. You have that drink with me. Yeah, all right, you're on. Why can't Roy do it? Because Roy's called in sick. Now, it's eight o'clock, St. Pancras, the Bedford train. Mr. Tompkins, you know him, over and out. Alex, where have you been? To see why? Because I want to see her. But well, you can't just leave like this. Oh, can I? Watch. All right, then, but let's don't be long. And tell her to take it easy, will yeah, you? All right. Ali, Roy's called in sick. Any day, any minute now, I'm going to be a father again. I can't wait. No, I bet Sue's of the same opinion. Yeah. What's your Ali? Oh, yeah. I'll have a nice cup of coffee and a hamburger roll, please, mate. Sure. Add Sue get on up the hospital. Oh, the baby's head's engaged. Oh, is it? Yeah, know what that means? No, but I've got an horrible feeling you're going to tell me, ain't you? It's a miracle, isn't it, Doc? A miracle, childbirth. Apart from the sordid details, yes. Yeah, his head's engaged. All we've got to do now is wait for the water to break. The water to break? Yeah. The cervix dilates and out he pops. Hello, Dad, how are you? Yeah, look, forget the hamburger, mate. I'll just have the coffee, all right? Something the matter? No, I was just thinking how very attractive you are. No, I'm not making a pass. Oh, what a shame. No, you're a happily married woman. I respect that. 
my motives for saying it are purely professional. Kathy, would you come and work for me here behind the bar? I don't know. Well, it's true I've got the dynamic duo here, though as far as Lofty's concerned, I'm not sure for how much longer. Why, are you going to give him a sack? Well, if I sack him or if he leaves of his own accord, it doesn't make any difference to my proposition. And I don't think Lofty's quite found his niche yet, whatever that is. Now, what we lack behind the bar is a touch of glamour. I think you could provide it. I've been wondering who I could get to replace Angie. Angie? Oh, she's something else, though, isn't she? I couldn't replace Angie. I disagree. You've got experience behind the bar. You're certainly a good businesswoman, as I've just learned to the tune of 30 pounds. Oh, and I can blame you for trying it on. Yeah, but you tumbled me and brought me to book for it. I admire that. And I admire you. What do you say? Five nights a week, top wages, and I can promise you carte blanche as far as the bar and existing staff are concerned. And I also promise you, reluctantly, you being a married woman and me being an officer and a gentleman, there are no strings attached, purely a business arrangement. Will you think about it, please? Yeah, all right. I'll think about it. I didn't know you were still keen on Mags. Well, what makes you think I am? I don't know, but I know she's still keen on you. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Who's intuition? Something like that, yeah. Look, I'm very sorry that this morning I... Well, I presume that you take me out tonight. I'm working so... tonight. Well, after then? But as you've got a night off, why don't you pop round the Dagmar and away a drink, all right? I'll see you later. See you, Ellie. Yeah, see you later. Ask Katia. Oh, hello, Miss Drosidopoulos. Um, <clears throat> yes, yes, this is Mrs. Cotton. Uh, where was it you wanted to go? Oh, yes, Thursday. Oh, why, well, I'm afraid that Roy's called in sick, but there is someone that I can recommend. Oh, I see, you only have Roy to drive here. Oh, yes, Mr. Osmond is here at the moment. Well, I've just told him you're here. Oh. Uh, hold on a minute, will you, Mr. Drosidopoulos? I'll see if he's free. He says if he can't have Roy, he wants you. Where to? St. Albans, there and back, on Thursday. Tell him no. I can't. It means I'll be away most of the day. What happens if Sue goes into labour or yes, something? Yes, 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 I'm still here, Mr. Arpadopoulos. I'm afraid that Mr. Osmond's rather booked up on Thursday. Oh, I see. If you can't have him, you won't have... Hello, Mr. Arpadopoulos. Uh, Ali Osmond, here you go. What time would you like to pick you up? I don't know why you haven't packed your case yet, Sue. I mean, what would happen if you had it tonight? You think Ali would know what to get ready for you? That chance. There is plenty of time. No, there is not. You've got to be ready. <sighs> oh, that is beautiful, you know, Grisen. Oh, it really is lovely. Thank Thanks you. ever so much. Pink and blue, you notice. It'll suit either. Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, hey, look, give us a coat, mate. It's like an oven, isn't it? Hiya, how's it going? Yeah, great. Good. Well, the music sounds terrific. Yeah, well, you never thought that when we... Yeah, well, yeah. you know, right time and the right place. And I mean, our flat wasn't exactly the, um... Yeah, well... What are you doing here, Cole? You hate the music. Oh, Cheers. come on, I don't hate music. Anyway, I just... I just want to see you succeed. Honest. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Cheers, love. Cheers. Oh, do some fantastic slow one. I'm gonna find this before. All right, mate. Cheers. Tracy. What? Oh, nothing. Uh... It's quiet in here. Hmm. Seems to be an absence of men. Oh, I'm here, Doc. Yes. <laughs> they couldn't all be over the all watching them fuzzy wuzzies, could they? Well, they're not here anyway. Are you going to move my sideboard for me I or mean, what? Who'd want to watch a load of... You said you would. Yeah. Oh. No, no. You stay here. I'll go over and have a quick look. I don't want them to think I'm interested. Go on, native. Yeah, that reminds me. A bloke in our regiment did that once. Went native. You see, some of them can't stand the sun. Me, I'm more of your um, mad dogs and Englishman type. What was his name, that bloke? What was Trevor? That's right, Lance Corporal Trevor. They packed him off to Blighty pretty quick. Mind you, he took his tom-toms with him. Anyway, he's probably in the laughing house now. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yes, but what about... Oh. <laughs> Okay, after a little taster, Darren's Living Sounds Enterprise presents the all the way from Poplar. Yeah, yeah well, I'm getting out. That's Fabulous Tracy! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
coming here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I know. See, so you told me all the other blokes on the manor, including your boss. What, then? So why don't you take the complimentary ticket, sit down and enjoy the show? Oh, yeah, right? Tom. And of course, it's a little bit of cream. Oh, yeah, Tom. Go on, let yourself go. You're an old soldier, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I suppose I am, yeah. Stuck. No, where's that Tom got to? He said he'd only be a minute. But don't improve with age, still unreliable. Yes, but I'll give him a couple of minutes and then I'm going to go and find him and give him a piece of my mind. I think you were really stupid saying that you'd work tonight. I need the money. Yeah, but I've gone to an awful lot of trouble. I mean, I prepared this really nice meal. Well, come on, can't you get off early? Tell him you've got a bit of a headache or something. Let's tell you something, I haven't. Do me a favour. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all. Yeah, before. and just who the hell do you think you are? Hi, Simon, I'm here at last. Sorry. Oh, come on, don't be like that. What's wrong with you? You said you wanted to see me. You asked me to come. I said pop round for a drink. And that's what we do here, sell drinks. So what do you want? Nothing. It makes. I'm sorry, you must think I'm a right bastard. Yes, I do. You're off, Doc. Yes, and you can tell that, Tom. No, I'll tell him myself. He ain't had a good word to say about that African culture thing all day. Now, he's over there and I'm here waiting. Lord knows what the interest is. Oh.